Marlena Koenig is an internationally recognized expert on British and European royalty and our guest tonight. Marlena, thank you so much for giving us some time. Now begins the 10 days of mourning. Uh, that will be very public leading up to the Queen's funeral um, at Westminster Abbey. But what's happening behind the scenes for the, the people of Great Britain? Will they go to work tomorrow? Will there be school? Um, what does this mean um, largely for them and how they function over these next 10 days? Well, I mean, there was already an announcement that, for example, the historic royal palaces, meaning Kensington Palace, the State Apartments, other things will um, not be open. I expect that'll be a decision of different schools and places uh, regarding what is open and what is not open. But if you, you know, I mean, it's been a long time. It's been 70 plus years since there was the last royal, last funeral of a sovereign. And it was much more somber. There was no social media, there was no real television or anything like that. Um, but I think there will be things that will definitely close and certainly, you know, on several different days, including the day of the funeral because it will be a state event. UK's newest Prime Minister, Liz Truss, called the Queen the rock on which modern Britain was built. How did the Queen evolve the monarchy in terms of its traditions and how it is seen across the world during her reign? Well, for example, the Queen is, has, has reigned since, you know, 1952. So you have seen the social progress. You've seen communication change from um, people just getting television to having something streaming uh, like the news and um, the great changes in that. And she has been one to embrace them. She was probably one of the first people to send email. You know, she used texting with her own grandchildren. Uh, and, but you have seen her as the constant through helping to shepherd the development of the Commonwealth, which she is so proud of and which she is devoted to from the British Empire. Um, you know, she has been the continuity. Uh, she has been there when Britain um, was having economic problems, you know, during the 80s, uh, and all sorts of things that have given her, you know, the, um, the stature. She's recognized internationally. Uh, and that was even from a small child. When she was three years old, Time Magazine put her on the cover. And I, you know, they must have known something that we didn't. Well, she was so well loved. She defined an era. How will King Charles III uh, be received? Is he prepared and will be he, he be supported in this time? Absolutely. First of all, he has been waiting a long time to be king. Second, he is probably the most prepared heir in history. One of the most moving things I saw earlier today uh, was a large crowd, and the crowds are getting larger outside of Buckingham Palace. And it was a lot of young people, and they were singing God Save the King, making that transition. I mean, for him now, it's this whole weight of everything that will happen, including the Ascension Council when he's officially proclaimed, and all sorts of things. He's going to Northern Ireland. Um, he'll be in Scotland as he makes the rounds of the different parts of the uh, that make up the United Kingdom and then event you know and then help to bring his mother's body from different places until the funeral so I, but he certainly will have the support of his family um you know especially William and Catherine because now for William he has gone from being second in line to the throne to now he's the heir apparent his whole life has changed as well that's right. And the, and the family um, joined by so many tonight, um, thinking of the Queen. Uh, Marlena, appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have a nice night. You too. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.